Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you have been looking uh, on how to draw a graph of a sine uh, or cosine uh, using Excel sheet, then you are in the right place. So let's go directly to the question we have here. So this question is asking us to complete the table there and then uh, draw the graph of y equals to sine x plus 2 cos x on the graph provided there. Now, uh, so what we need to do is uh, to transfer this information of x from 0 to 360 uh, onto the Excel sheet. Then from there, we can now find sine x to cos x and the value of y. So as you can see, in this case, we have the first column is for x, we have radian, uh, we have sine x to cos x, sine x plus 2 cos uh, x. So we need the radians uh, so that you can find sine x and cos x because um, on the Excel sheet you can uh, get sine and cosine directly uh, after getting uh, the radians. So from here in the radians, we uh, find the radians of uh, the value there. So radians. So radians of uh, a2, we give a command. Uh -huh. So we proceed to 360. Yes, that is it. Uh, then from here now we do a uh, sine x. So as you can see from here, um, these are radians, and we, I, I decided to put it into two decimal places. Otherwise, if you, you want to change that, maybe I can show you on how to do it. You go to format cells, and then from there, that's where I put uh, to two decimal places. You go to numbers, then to put into two decimal places, then you can uh, click OK. Now, when you want to find sine x now, uh, you again I get a function there of uh, sine. Uh, that is a sign there of uh, B2 and then from there now you give a command to all of them that's also into the small place and then for this one you also give a command equals to so you see we have 2 cos x so first of all you have to write 2 then multiplication you put a star then uh, cos uh, this one first one of uh, b2 b2 then you give a command yes then from there now you proceed give a command to the rest that all of them are into the small press and then now the graph you want now for sin x plus 2 cos x now you also give a command for addition which is a sum uh, now we talk about sum of uh, c2 and uh, d2 so you change this one um, to c2 um, and d2 which is very okay there then you add it to everything there there we are now from there now um you select the first column of x and uh, the column for sine x plus 2 cos x then from there, um, we go to the data. Uh, and the data is to confirm if you already put everything. Then from there, it has everything is okay there. So we go to insert. Um, we check on charts. Then we go to the graph there. And uh, there we have the graph so you can now choose the kind of uh, graph you want to have maybe uh, i can decide to have this graph there and then you can enlarge you now you can see uh, you can enlarge it depending on what you want to have there maybe like that uh -huh. there we are now you see this graph is starting from 0 to 59 so starting from 0 to uh, 0 30 to 360 so what you need to do uh, you can check on the uh, text options there. So maximum is 360, 360, and the difference there at interval of 30 degrees. And there you are. So and then now maybe you can reduce the, uh, the graph there. Uh, checking on on the size so maybe you can change this on to the color you want 
and also maybe you can reduce transparency then do the size there yeah. so there you are so now from there now you can customize according to the way you want and then maybe you can put here the y-axis x-axis and uh, there you are Thank you very much.